These are the materials you'll need. Some brown leggings or any dark color is fine. A light colored long sleeve shirt. A yellow shirt that you can cut up and draw on. A winter hat that's dark and has ear flaps. Tan colored fleece or felt, about a yard is fine. Some brown paper or foam board. A sheet of cardboard. A pack or two of white feathers. First you'll take the yellow shirt and you will cut off the arms. Next you'll take the fabric marker and you'll draw on the meadowlark markings. Take a look at your calendar to get a good idea of what Pepper's markings look like. When it's all put together, the yellow shirt will cover the long sleeve shirt. To make the wings, take the cardboard and draw out two wings on either side. And then cut them out. Take the duct tape and make some loops. Secure them to the bottom side of the wings. One is for the upper arm and one is for the hand or wrist. Then you'll take your fleece or your felt and you'll trace the wings onto the fabric. Cut it out and then glue it onto the top of the wing where you don't have the tape loops. Next, you'll glue or duct tape the feathers onto the bottom part of the wing. To make the beak, you'll take your brown foam board or felt and cut out a strip about a few inches wide. Then fold it into a cone shape and glue it together. Cut off the excess so that it's all even on the bottom. Then carefully cut a hole on either side of the beak and take a piece of rubber band or elastic, string it into the hole and tie a knot. Finish it off with a pair of goggles or sunglasses. Now you're ready to pretend you're Pepper and let your imagination fly.